Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and we are playing Unreal World today. Hit that like button for me if you enjoy the content, and if you're new to the channel, I hope today is the day you'll subscribe. Anyway, let's get into it. So things have been going so-so. We, we finally got a couple of kills, so we've got a couple of piles of meat, but man, I really screwed up with some of the, some of the, uh, yeah, the skins. You can see we've got a rotten weasel skin and a rotten elk skin right there. That's so huge. I completely screwed up but we're just going to move past it. I'm actually going to set this stuff on fire now. So let's get a big old fire going. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can watch this stuff just burn away. We'll never think about it again. No more mention of rotten skins because it's not going to happen again. Trust me. I'm going to make sure. Okay, so we've got... Let's check our trade goods right now. So we've got a rough short bow that we, we actually got a better deal. We got a long bow. So this is going to be a trade. I'm, this is kind of my pile here for all the stuff I want to trade away eventually. We're going to go on a really big like trading spree during the winter once the water freezes over and we can walk on ice and stuff. So it's a lot easier to travel in winter. We want to we want to get our as much stuff as we can ready for trading before then. So we've got our short bow. We've got a little bit of leather. I don't know if I'll even trade that leather. I might just use it for something. But uh, same with this. We might actually, you know what I'll probably need to make are some more skis because I've got some really inferior skis right now. But uh, I've also got a bear fur, which is pretty big. Even though it's harsh, that thing's probably valuable. And a nice elk fur. So we, we're getting our start. We don't have a whole lot. I need, I need a lot more. But um, we can also trade food away, which is really important because you see we do have a good amount of food here, which I'm really happy about i mean well i'm going to use this to probably buy some animals with some dogs maybe a cow so we can start some milk going also having a big like animal like that like a cow or a bull really helps with transporting items because you can push a bunch of stuff onto your bull and uh he can move like half your stuff for you so you don't need to carry it all uh anyway we are like i said we're still trying to get our wealth up so oh look darn it Something knocked down our trap again. There's reindeer here in the area. If we look at this track, set of tracks here, do you notice day old reindeer? And it keeps knocking down our silly uh, fox traps. This is the second time I've had to come over here now and redo these traps. But um, we also have some pit traps, so I'm really hopeful. Here we go. You can see one, two, and there's a third pit trap right over here. I'm really hoping these deer end up falling in the pit traps. Maybe I should clear out some of the slender trunks or something real quick. But um, yeah, so like I said, we're trying to get as much fur and skin as possible so we can trade that away. Um, oh, I'm actually holding two more reindeer first too. I forgot about those. I had finished those at the end of the previous episode, so let me drop them. Drop them here in our bed area. Boom. So one's a small one from a, a baby, and the other one's a 10-pounder. So that's that's decent. Um, okay, I think I'm going to set up the fire here. And yeah, because, ooh. You know what? I actually might need to spend a day or two here at the campsite just, just making uh, firewood out of these blocks that I've got because that's not going to be enough for a while. So... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put the hunting on hold, but we do have nine more weeks before winter sets in. And I can tell you that even once winter gets here, it's not going to be immediate when we can start walking on the ice. It needs time. You need to get in, like, the, seriously, the deep winter before the ice freezes over enough. But uh, anyway, like I said, let me, let me just kind of do some camp craft around here and uh, get things set up. Man, oh man, these reindeer are becoming a real pest. Look at this. I've got tracks literally right in front of my cottage here. So there's a track right here. And they keep knocking over the uh, the fox traps down here. I'm actually going to assemble a, um, a deadfall trap here, I think. Because this is the fox trap they've knocked over like three or four times now. So we need... Uh, the only problem is I need ten stones. It's not... I mean, it's not impossible to get. I just got to... I'll probably have to leave the camp to grab those, which isn't the end of the world. Again, it's just uh, it's a little inconvenient. But uh, I'm going to collect up the rest of the stuff. And, man, we've got a whole trapped field down here below the, below the cabin. But that's good. I mean, hopefully we'll start getting some hits eventually. We have gotten a little bit of stuff here. we got one or two foxes down here, but nothing great. Um, so let's see. How many stones do I actually have? Let's look. Um, oh, I've actually got enough. Holy crud. 
let's grab those. Um, I'm also going to need some cordage. So let me grab, I've forgotten how many. I'll just take a, I'll just take these right here. That'll probably do it. Now, like I said, I'm going to place this. I actually kind of want to take this trap down now. It's a shame that I'm doing it because <laughs> I've reset this trap like four times. But uh, yeah, we're going to take that one down. Let's go ahead and move these a little bit. I'll push all that stuff up closer. There we go. Oh, look, reindeer. You see, he's down in the forest right there. No, not yet. We're not ready. All right, so let me go ahead and set the trap. I think I've got everything. Four foot. Yep, we've got ten stones. There we go. Now, I don't know if this is the most ideal trap here for reindeer, but hey, we're going to give it a try. Also, I can grab some of the uh, heather and stuff. I think I'll go pick some. Or wait, are these berries ready? After a couple weeks. Not yet, not yet. Man, I think these reindeer have eaten like everything that's around this area. There's some feathers and stuff, but uh, wow. I'm glad I got to that heather while I did. Let me look around a little bit more. There's got to be something nearby. Um, wow. Not necessarily. Is that an arrow? Yeah, there's an arrow right there. Hey, hey. Always finding the arrows around. There's also a couple logs out here and stuff. Yeah, there's enough logs nearby. I could probably make a deadfall trap, but uh, it's not important. I came out here for some berries. Look at this. Everything's been stripped. Okay, we found a few. All right, good. We'll put these in the traps, I think. Well, speaking of traps, it's been a while since I actually left. A few days um, since I left and checked the traps we've got going down here. So, uh, real quick, let me put some food back in our bowl. It's so convenient to actually just put all your food in a bowl. You can just eat one big bite from it, and that's it. All right, so let's check these traps. Fox traps are empty, uh, so are the deadfall traps. I might grab a couple of these fox traps and move them. Again, you know, it just kind of helps out with the uh, trapping skill a little bit, and hopefully it'll help out with our ability to catch something. D, yeah, these are real easy to take down. All right, so we'll move those to the next location we're going to check, which is all the way down south here. Maybe we'll run into something on the way, but I don't see anything. Also left some long sticks here. Let me grab these just so I don't forget about them. Oh, let's see. All right, anything around here? There's another long stick. I should probably pick up my messes here. All right, so there's the bear trap, which doesn't have anything, obviously. We got a couple of deadfalls, and I think I'll set these fox traps right here, like in this heather patch. It's probably a good idea. Maybe we'll get lucky, who knows? We'll see. Put this other one, oh, just right here. All right, very good. I guess I can go ahead and bait them, even though I don't necessarily need it, but they did have bait, so I'll just replace it. Okay, boom, good enough. Now, let's check these. These are still empty, yep, too bad. Well, nothing yet. Let's do one lap around the, uh, the hunting grounds here by our house, and uh, I don't really see anything. All right, gotta, gotta head home. Yep, keep that fire going. Oh, there's a black grouse. Not worried about the birds. Not too interested. I am going for the smaller game for the fur and stuff, but not birds. Not really interested in birds. You know, there are uh, one other set of traps that we have here up in this little peninsula. We found this choke point, and I set these up, but um, no, they haven't been very productive here. This has not been a great one. Oh, you know what? This is also a spot that has a bunch of rotten meat that I had set before someone commented and told me that's not the best bait to use. So I'll probably just take those out of there. Now let's see here. I know animals can still get caught in these deadfall traps even without bait at all. So I might just put some bait in this bear trap. B and put a pinch of heather flowers. That's good enough. Uh, but I probably should have taken all my clothes off first. But uh, so far that little ritual hasn't been all that successful, but no worries. Um, maybe it's just a bad location. It was kind of for demonstration purposes, although it is a great little choke point. It's just we haven't really seen any animals in that general area, so might not ever catch anything, but that's okay. Like I said, just a little labor wasted, nothing else. Well, I found a group of traders while I was out hunting, so I ran home and grabbed the, the furs that we have. I've kind of talked to most of these guys and no, he's not the one I want. Let's see, there's a couple of them here who do have some really nice stuff. Let's check. No, it's not him. 
Sometimes it can be hard to find the right people again. There's really no difference to them. Let's go back, T. Uh, ooh, okay, so the male cow. I would love to get this right here. It's only, it's a very small item though, really. Maybe I'll try the hand axe to offer an item because we don't have a hand axe, so I'd love to get one. It's just a regular hand axe though, but let's see here. Let's try the reindeer fur. Needs to be doubled. Maybe the elk fur on top. Pleasantly close. Oof. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, see, without enough furs, like of different sizes and values, it's really hard to do trading with some of these guys sometimes. But um, that's okay. The male cow isn't the end of the world. Let's see what he's got. No. Let's try this guy down here. There's one of them that had an iron helm. There he is. I'd love to get this, but again, this is the only thing he's got. So let me just, let me see. Maybe he'll take like the, uh, uh, the forest reindeer fur for that. Doubled. Let's start to trade over again. I'm going to give him the elk fur. Doubled. So these, that means these things have the same value basically. Okay. There you go. I mean, I'm going to do it because that, that iron helm is pretty nice. In fact, I'm going to wear that. Whoops. I'm going to wear that immediately. That's going on there. So there was one other dude who had fine broadhead arrows. And I think he had something else, like a male cowl too. It wasn't him, was it? No, that's the one we just traded with. Um, but I might just call it quits now for these guys. But, um, oh, here, here, this is him. Okay. Oh, okay. He's got 20 fine broadheads, a hand axe, and this. Let's see. Now this is kind of over the top because all we've got is the bear fur and a tiny little reindeer fur. Doubled. Let's start this trade over. Uh, let's see here. Wait, what is he? Hand axe, etc. Let me Let me go back to him. There we go. All right, so what we've got going on, what do I really want from this guy? The leather off forearm guards, I can probably make those myself. The broadhead arrows, I cannot make myself. Nor can I make the hand axe. So let's check this. And we do have a masterwork woodsman's axe. So you may be saying to yourself, why do you want the hand axe for? Especially since it's not that great quality. But we do need it for certain like crafting stuff. It is a lot more easier to use than the woodsman's axe. Plus, whenever I want to club somebody, it's, a, it's nicer to have a one-handed axe. As opposed to the two-handed woodsman's, which is awkward with one hand. But uh, anyway, so let's see here. Um, let's just do the bear fur. Tripled. Oh my god, that bear fur is not worth anything. Well, that's going to be it. I think we're calling it quits. We don't need the arrows. We've got plenty. I just wanted to get some nice fine arrows because that would have been kind of cool. But uh, no worries. We'll just go back home, start the fire, and uh, drop these furs off. Then we're going to do some more hunting. Well, I encountered another ermine, and I've kind of got him trapped a little bit here. Look at this. He's trapped in this little peninsula. I don't know. He might slip by me, but let's see here. I'm going to try and wield my fisher's knife. Whoops. That was a slip. Let's see if we can't... Oh, there. We're next to him. All right. Let's go. To the legs. Blunt to the legs. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. He's He's quick, though. I don't want to get too close in there because he can sneak around me. Okay. Let's do blunt to the leg. Damn it. <gasps> oh, no. He's getting away. Okay. He's he's kind of confused, so let's keep going. These guys get, like, all, all hopped up, and they don't know what's going on. Okay. We hit him. We got him again. Yes unconscious man this is the second one we've trapped like this using water literally okay um skull and this time i'm not gonna waste this fur because i bet you an ermine this is probably a valuable little fur all right let's take this home and get this uh processed right away okay well the skin is almost done these little ones don't take very long but uh, i only got one piece of meat from that uh animal so i'm just going to go ahead and get use it for a sacrifice uh very good another thing i've forgotten about we did it once last episode was the uh, sleeping prayer but um <laughs> i forgot to do it again so oh look 
Oh my God, guys, do you see what I see? Hold on, I just zoomed past it. There it is. We've got ourselves a reindeer in one of our pit traps. Let's check the other one. Okay, it's empty. Oh my goodness. Now, someone did tell me as a tip that I should be throwing rocks at these guys. I only have one. Yeah, I've been using it to make arrows with. Darn it. I guess... Ugh. What else? It's going to be trapped there for a little while. I could go and get some more rocks from somewhere. I just have to find a little lake or a body of water. Actually, I know exactly where one's at. So, well, there's this one here, which isn't far at all. But I've gotten a lot of stuff from this one. Let me just look around. We'll, uh, I'll bring you guys right back as soon as I'm ready to try and take out this deer. Okay, now it's not totally necessary with an animal like this because I can get right up next to it, you know, but I do want to try and just throw a little bit. Now my question is, do I need to be six tiles away from it this if I wanted to get my throwing up? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do seven for good measure. See, this will probably, with the bear, I totally get this. I would do this all day long. Um, let's go for the head. Oh, I didn't actually mean to shoot. Oh, crap, I wielded the wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, yeah, let's throw the rocks, not the bow, or not the dang arrow. Narrowly miss him. So, yeah, if this were a bear, I would stand here and do this all day. But since it is a reindeer, I think I'm going to just use my knife, go for the legs. Just do the old-fashioned the old standby here, bring it down, make it unconscious, and then I'll crush its skull. But um, like I said, I am going to keep a pocket full of, uh, of rocks on me um, just in case we get something dangerous in one of these traps. Okay, well, I have uh, gone ahead and skinned and butchered the deer. I got him killed and stuff. I reset the trap, so now we just got to process him. But uh, that was pretty awesome. I guess I'll stay zoomed in here for now. But um, same technique here, even though we're at home, I'm going to drop the skin and the fat and we'll just focus on the food first thing you know i don't want to uh i don't want the food to go bad even though i'm here at home it's not uh, like it will go bad but uh, stick to the routine all right so like i said i'm dropping those some of those uh rocks but i'm gonna keep uh, that's 10 pounds that's kind of a lot maybe i will just drop them for now and um, if we need them i can always run home and grab some there we go. We got a little bit of spoiled food on us, too. This is just what was in some of these traps that I've been uh, kind of resetting and stuff. So we haven't had any food spoil on us in a long time in terms of our preparation. So keeping the fires going every day is really what did it, I think. All right, so let's get that going. Oh, I need some cordage, too. And we're going to have another pile of meat started here. Let's see. Let me grab these. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, actually, I haven't checked these piles in a while. Three more days. That's not bad. This one's probably got like two weeks. Eight days. Okay. Okay. Better than I thought. Um, this was kind of a small deer, but I'm just honestly, I'm glad to get it out of our little uh, base area because I kept knocking over the traps. Super annoying. Uh, but it also had some antlers. So maybe those are trade worthy. I don't know. Last time I played, which was granted like a year or two years ago, and a lot has changed since then, but the antlers weren't really worth much in terms of their uh, trade value. But correct me if I'm wrong, maybe there is some use or value for them now. Let's see here. All right, this won't take too long, and then I'm definitely, definitely not going to forget about the skin. Okay, so both the uh, forest reindeer and the ermine fur are finished. This is a tiny little bitty fur right here, but uh, hey, it's got to have some value to it. So next is just to keep hunting. I'm going to head out and do some more. Let's check our traps though real quick. Just see if we got lucky here in any of these. Nope, nothing there yet. Man, it is such a, a such a shocker though when you actually do get something like that deer that was in our pit trap. That was incredible. All right, so we've got one more set here. Uh, of course, we do have the choke point trap too, but uh, that one's not very productive, so I'm not worried about it. I swear there is still a bear in this area, though. I see it occasionally when I come down here. I think it lives in this forest somewhere, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time exploring, let me tell you that. Uh, not until we get some dogs are we going to take the bears on, like, head-to-head. -head, which I Oh, a weasel. Yeah, let's go for that. <gasps> Similar, I guess, in... Uh, to an ermine but it's a weasel let's see if we can't trap this guy in some water too nope missed the shot but uh let's let's just follow him for a little bit maybe we'll get lucky again here 
He's leaving like no tracks though, so it's impossible to really follow him unless you just get lucky, you know? Like I could probably stand here and pick some of this heather and he might kind of stroll back into view at some point. But uh, yeah, unless it's snowy out, it's like nearly impossible to follow these guys. Maybe if you have like an expert or grandmaster tracking skill, you can do it. But um, you'll notice that our skill in tracking is actually pretty high. We're skilled at it, but uh, you still, we, there's no way for us to track those little guys. Well, I decided to go ahead and make some skis. Um, I haven't had much luck in active hunting at the moment, so I just got a little bored with that. Decided to do some crafting here. And, you know, just getting prepared for winter is a good idea, so I'm trying to make some better skis. What did we get? Decent skis. All right. That's huge, because the ones we have now are inferior. So I'm definitely looking for something better than that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the inferior skis and the ski stick too. I think we'll probably make a better one of those. And I'm going to move those to the trading pile because I'm going to try and trade them away. Somebody out there will probably want them for, you know, maybe for a dog. <laughs> not, not equivalent, but we can throw them in on some bigger trade probably. Anyway, so now let's do the ski stick. I think for that we need leather and one of these slender trunks so let's go crafting menu r for transport and then a ski stick yeah we've got a slender trunk at our feet we need one pound of leather i'm going to use some of this wild boar leather it's important to use good material good quality stuff if you want a good quality in product so that's what i'm doing i'm using my best leather which uh we'll probably end up using more of this boar leather make, maybe make some clothes what am i wearing in terms of leather um, shin guards, forearm guards. I think I could use, actually, hold on. Let's try and make, um, a leather cuirass. How much does that take? Oh, five pounds of leather. We're not quite there yet. Next boar we get, or maybe the next elk fur I get that is like decent quality. I'll turn it into leather or something so we can make some good leather clothes. But, uh, for now, let's see here. I had to use my cloak to make the skis cause that was like the best fur I had. Everything else is harsh. So what I want to do now is repair. So I'm going to go back into the crafting clothes and hit repair. Now I'm going to use the crappy fur that I have to repair the good cloak. There we go. Yep. So instead of using the crappy fur in the crafting and get coming up with a bad product, you know, I'll just use it to repair the good stuff. Well, 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 I have found some reindeer out here in the open plains, but it is very late and I'm tired. So I would like to sleep, and I'm really hoping that this, this reindeer is here in the morning. Let's see. Oh, no. Dang it. The rain just woke us up. It's midnight still. <gasps> Crap. Well, I can kind of stick around in this area. Yeah, okay, until it stops raining. Dang. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get between it and the forest. Beautiful. It's moving towards that forest, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Is there any more? There are. We've got a whole group of them, and there's forest directly to the south of us. Uh, let's try a shot here. Let's go for the head, even though it's kind of facing away. We've got a bit of an angle on it, so let's try it. Oh, no, that was a terrible shot. Okay, let's... Um, I'm not going to chase... Well, I am going to chase them. I was going to say I'm not going to chase that one that we just shot at, because it looks like it's going down to the forest, but nope. We, I think we've got them. We can at least push them to the north here. Yeah, we're kind of herding them like some uh, sheep dogs here. All right, next one that kind of gets in our range, I'm going to take a shot at. Sometimes if you just move parallel with them, they'll kind of uh, settle down a little bit. But uh, these guys are <laughs> they're really on the move here. Let's keep going, though. Oh, man. I'm going to go into, I can't stealth yet. There we go. Okay. Now I can stealth. Maybe I can creep up on him. There we go. Kind of all hanging out here in a group. Okay. Now they see me, but they're kind of still. So let's take another shot at one of these guys. Oh, we got him. Oh, crippled. Okay. I'm going to start sprinting here. Okay. Yeah. We can definitely keep up with it while I'm sprinting, but if I stop sprinting here, Oh yeah, it's going to get away. So um, I'm going to sprint for a little while longer, really try and push its uh, stamina down. 
Okay, it's taken off now. I think I'll stop sprinting because I don't want to get too tired myself because then we can't draw our bow as well. So let's see here. Where did it go? Where is it? Is it this one here? Like I said, sometimes hunting these packs, yeah, it is that one. It can be really difficult. You just got to stay on them and look at your prey. Look at look at what the animals are very, very often. Okay, I think we've got this one because it's not even able to outrun me while I'm walking towards it. So here we go with the fisher's knife. Let's grab that. Now that little fisher's knife has done us some good, hasn't it? Ever since we traded for it after getting mugged, it's uh, it's really done the trick. So that's great. Okay, this guy's elusive. He's trying to be elusive, but we've got him. Oh yeah, he's totally breathless now, I guarantee it. Time to take him out. You know the old standby, blunt to the legs. Let's go. There it is. He's on the ground. Let's go um, blunt to the head till we knock him out. Now we'll go blunt to the skull. And these are the final blows for this little deer. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And he is dead. And that, those are the final blows for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this one. If you enjoy this content, consider hitting like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And I will see you guys on the next episode.